do, right? It's a lavender collection. The fat budded and bushy Grosso lavender collection for $31.50. This is a unique type of lavender though, Derek, you were explaining to me. You've kind of taken the best of French lavender and then another type to give us one that's gonna be a little bit more hearty. Yeah, people love lavender. Mm. It's universally adored by men, women, children for different reasons. The uh, fragrance world, the cook, the chef world, everybody loves lavender. The thing about lavender is it's very difficult to grow on your own in North America because the lavender we traditionally uh, want to grow and identify as lavender is French. Now French is a very beautiful, elegant variety of lavender, but it cannot handle a freeze. So what people often do is they settle for the next second best, which is the English variety. Those are the two top uh, you know, kinds of lavender in the world. The problem with the English variety is it's a short, stubby little plant with little flowers, and the strong is highly medicinal, which is great if you're making medicine, but if you want to enjoy a beautiful garden, it doesn't look good, nor does it really smell very sweet. What we did was we took the French, bred it with the English, so now we've got the winter hardy capacity of the English with the beautiful form and elegance of the French. What we've also uh, realized is because the English is highly uh, a potent flower, this new combination has the highest oil content within the flowers of any other lavender in the world, which means longer lasting fragrance in your fresh, fresh and cut dried flowers, and better performance if you want to make tinctures or uh, lavender waters or you want to cook with it. There's so many options, and you're getting four pieces. You can see that's one plant in the front and then another plant in the back. That's probably a couple years old. But, but look at what it has grown to. That's humongous. Yeah. You know, if you want to do something like this, line your walkway, get a couple sets. Now, the thing about lavender is you never can have too much. I've planted umpteen sets in different gardens of friends and family that I know, and they always say, man, Derek, oh, you could have brought a couple more. Like, <laughs> I already planted 10 sets. You know, what do you, you want? You want the whole, people? the entire you know? garden lavender? Yeah, so, because they do. Hey, that's what people want. They mm -hmm. want to see that in their yard. You can do it. You know, you either get a lot of sets or you wait a while and, and slowly fill. separate them out and keep planting them. But when you get these home, these are the Swiss Army knife of, of the garden world. What I mean is, the flowers and the oil and the fragrance and the leaves, they repel moths, spiders, uh, mites, black ants, flies, uh, white flies, which are a pest on plants and vegetables. Mm. Put these in your, your vegetable garden, your fruit gardens, or with, amongst your other flowers. Because it will help protect those other they plants will repel, as well. You know, nice. deer do not eat these. Put these around your precious strawberries and everything They'll else that you moving. want to protect. They won't Exactly, they do not like the fragrance, well, but humans love it. Well, that's a great tip, especially if you do grow, you know, different type of edible plants and you're frustrated that all the woodland creatures get to it first. Yeah, it's Here's really Here's a natural bothersome. way to, as you said, kind of repel them. Yeah. Um, I do want to remind you that this collection um, sold out when we first had it on earlier in the season in January. We were able to get back about a thousand uh, units back in stock for the remainder of the season. But this is it. Uh, shipping and handling is included. What is it that you are doing, Derek? And so I will join you. I'm, what do you I'm uh, removing the flower heads from my stems that I grew and I'm going to do... And dry so these many, out, right? Yeah, I dried them out. It takes about a week. You put a rubber band around them. Now. After I've done it this, so good I have all these lavender flowers. What can I do with them, right? I can fill my little sachets and mm -hmm. potpourri baskets. If I want, I can make like a spray or, or a fragrance with them or tinctures, put them in some alcohol, and then I can use it to help me go to bed at night. So many wonderful things. I actually have a small pillow that I filled with homegrown lavender it's a tiny little you know four by six inch pillow but i keep that next to my bed when i sleep that's what they suggest and it's really nice spray your pillow with a little lavender now you can fill a sachet and naturally and as you mentioned maybe tuck it into a pillowcase because the smell of lavender is supposed to be very soothing and relaxing that's why it's used in aromatherapy oh, totally. and now you can grow your own naturally something that was very difficult to do to get that french lavender because it really only grew it's not winter well hardy. in it's France not only. Hardy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what we're seeing here, you're getting four plants this size. Mm. They're gone through their first winter already. 
That means when you get them home, they're really ready to grow for you. They've been waiting months to come to your house and bloom and get big. So when you get them home, these like full to part sunlight, they're winter hardy down to negative 25 below zero, thanks to the English variety. But they have the long, beautiful, elegant form of the French with the thick, fat buds, like the name implies, and they're real bushy plants. So they're not gonna be these spindly, sometimes you see spindly lavenders. These are not that kind. These are really wonderful, uh, great to look at and great to smell lavender uh, varieties. That is the key here. The smell is so beautiful. If you have used any sort of lavender beauty product, Many times you will find they use a synthetic version. Oh, when yeah. you smell the real deal, it is amazing. And you will ask for nothing less. Um, L'Occitane products are a brand from France that uh -huh. we sell here, Derek. And they use a lot of natural lavender from their lavender fields. And it look like your pictures, these big, beautiful fields of lavender. And now you can grow them at home. And remember, you're getting four pieces. I would suggest multiples. How, yeah, and especially if with oh, your experience, totally. right? I mean, because you find so many ways to use the flowers after you've enjoyed them mm -hmm. for five months every year in the garden. They bloom for five months, and they come back year after year. After you've enjoyed them, cut your flowers, dry them. It's really easy to do. Then you can take those flowers, put them in little baskets. I'm looking at this photo thinking, where am I, the south of France? No, I'm in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Yeah, totally, right? This could be your backyard. That's the whole idea why we brought this collection. Now, you could do so many things with this. Like I said, they're the Swiss Army knife of the plant world. What I like to do is I put little bags of homegrown lavender in my cupboards and drawers to, so the cockroaches, the mice, all the pests that come into my house and get into my food grains and my clothes, moths, they <coughs> will not want to go in those areas anymore. All from your homegrown Natural efforts. repellent. Yeah. Very popular. It sold out in January. It's back today. M29260, our lavender collection, taking the best of both worlds, making it winter hardy. Now, you mentioned blooms. When can we expect blooms? This season? Definitely this season, and um, so they like, they typically start blooming uh, middle of May to June, that's when they begin, and they bloom all the way through the first frost. These are sturdy, hardy plants. They're actually, this leaves that you see, they never die back. In the middle of the winter time, you're gonna have silvery foliage poking up through the snow. This is such a wonderful investment in the garden. You plant it once and enjoy it for years and years. The thing is, Lavender is, is a plant kind of like mm. peonies. Once you plant it, you realize, I need a lot more. I need more. And I need tons of it surrounding every corner because it's so beautiful. It, you know, you can do so many things with it. But what we have here is a collection of unique lavender. The Grosso is a mix, a hybrid between the French elegant variety and the medicinal English variety. So what you're getting is a winter, totally winter hardy, you know, drought tolerant, deer resistant, Tough as nails, lavender, but it has the beauty, elegance, and um, you know, thick flower heads from the French. And Derek, when we want to use this at, uh, for our sachets or for cooking, how do we kind of process the buds? How do we get from yeah, this to this? So you'll simply cut the flowers, um, you know, as far down the stem as you can. So you can produce a, a, a very wonderful looking bouquet like what you're seeing there. And after you've cut them, then you'll let them hang. And I like to do just a rubber band because as they dry, they, they actually shrink a little bit. So a rubber band continuously shrinks with it. And then now you've got this wonderful bouquet. You can let this sit in your house for, for you know, an everlasting bouquet. Or like you, know, you saw earlier, you take it home. And about and you, a week to dry out, correct? Yeah, depending on your conditions, you know. You can go faster or slower. Now, you just simply rub all the flowers off. It's very easy. These are full of volatile oils, the lavender oil. And I can do so many wonderful things with it. Um, you know, barbecuing is great. Also, I make a lot of pizza. I've had lavender ice cream, too. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. If you know how to make ice cream, that's wonderful. Now, 
potpourri sachets, that's the easiest, but there's unlimited crafting possibilities, unlimited ways you can use lavender. Even as it's alive, yeah. it will repel mice, silverfish, moths, black ants, Ooh, black I hate flies. The silverfish. Put these in your vegetable garden or your fruit garden, they will repel all sorts of pests that we okay. use so many chemicals for. I'm putting lavender everywhere. I hate bugs. It makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. It totally makes sense. But it's interesting because it's a lovely smell to me, yeah. but the bugs don't like it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, nature's wonder, right? <laughs> well, this collection is unique to QVC. It's only brought to us by Roberta's. I challenge you to find this at your favorite big box nursery store.